Hey, it's Vsauce Pro here, and welcome to another Halloween upload video. As you can see, I'm in the deep dark, so I'll be showing the updated textures for the mobs and assets for the wild update in 1.19, with packs such as the Ice Age mashup, Star Wars mashup, Fantasy Texture Pack, and especially the Nightmare Before Christmas and Halloween mashups. With this new explosion of graphics, the Halloween mashup pack has received a special update this year, with a heap of new spooky villager textures, which I'm excited to show off. And with what has been consistently the new normal, I'll also be catching up on my reviews for the Sackboy Big Adventure costumes that have released. This includes the updated fruit salad costume pack costumes, such as pineapple, apple, and strawberry suit Sackboy, and additionally the international cat and dog day costumes, as well as the tome costume. And one interesting thing about the new Minecraft Halloween mashup villagers is that some of the original characters have been included with the new costumes. And without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video! Now here are the very original Halloween mashup villagers, just for reference. As a quick preview, here are the Halloween mashup villagers from their Village and Pillage texture update. This was a part of the Halloween mashup when they were changed into regular humans. Soon to be integrated with the monsters again, but I'll get to that in just a bit. And here were the zombie villagers as of the Village and Pillage update for the Halloween mashup. One key detail to take note of for later is that the zombies are wearing Halloween pails. So you can see the candy in the hole at the top, but then the handle goes around the head. Last but not least, the Nitwit. Here's the new updated zombie villager texture. The mashup pack is now limited to this one villager, but you can see it's a mix of the average Joe Nitwit texture with the zombie villager skull pail as the mask. One pretty cool detail about these new Halloween villagers is that their candy pail that they hold is the skull pail that the updated zombie villagers wear, or at least the only one that's in bedrock right now as of 1.19. Another new change this year with the Halloween mashup pack is that the pillager's texture was updated. He used to be a mad scientist with red goggles, now he's a mad scientist with blue goggles lifted above his eyes. Now shifting over to the new deep dark and mangrove updated assets.
not least, the Little Big Planet Sackboy Big Adventure costumes. about the Tome costume is that his face has been rigged to show Sackboy's emotion. One really cool new feature about the Apple costume from Little Big Planet PSP is that the worm's googly eyes have been rigged to show emotion with Sackboy. as an extra to this video, here's a tomato suit Sackboy costume. He's not a part of the fruit salad costume pack, but you get him in the Little Big Planet PSP story mode. I can only assume that the fruit salad costume pack was inspired by this costume. And one other feature that I'd like to mention is that the Wrigley Worm sidekick costume piece is completely individual, a feature in Little Big Planet PSP that wasn't brought back to Sackboy Big Adventure. I'd also like to add that the new Apple Sackboy costume emote is similar to the Little Big Planet PSP Jumping Jacks emote. One particular change with the new Sackboy Big Adventure Fruit Salad Costume Pack Sack People is that their outfit is all one piece, raising the stalks of the fruit to over the top of Sackboy's head, whereas the Little Big Planet PSP versions of these costumes had the stalks of the fruit right at the top of Sackboy's head. The reason the PSP costumes were engineered this way was so that the stalks could be used as individual hair costume pieces. With the new exception of Strawberry Sackboy, who actually has a new hat piece when he didn't have one before.
And that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you later.